Hi guys, this is a front camera video sample from the iPhone 14 Pro. I am recording this sample in the night to give you guys an idea about the night performance of this phone's camera. I am recording this video in 4K at 30 frames per second resolution because I believe this is going to be the standard resolution for most of the iPhone 14 Pro users. So uh, make sure that you uh, analyze this video carefully because it's a front video so uh, I am relying on you guys to give me your feedback in the comment section down below. And if you find this video good enough, add some point because this is going to be a lengthy review, lengthy night review. Make sure that you uh, hit the like button and subscribe as well. So I'll walk a little bit to give you guys an idea about the stability as well. Make sure that you stick through the end of this video because this is the most in-depth uh, review that you will find because it's solely about the night performance of the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's check out other parts of this video now. Okay, these are all the normal videos in all resolutions of the phone. These are handheld videos while I walked through this area. The details of all the clips are mentioned at the bottom. Remember, all these clips are unedited. None of the photos or videos in this entire iPhone 14 Pro night camera review were retouched. Watch all these videos and I'll catch you with the photos in just a bit. First of all, I have a bunch of photos in the low light. The artificial lights in this area were pretty good, so I did not find it necessary to use the night mode for these particular photos. The details are on point and images are not grainy because of ample light. Details are quite high and even if you go on to using the telephoto lens in such lighting conditions, you are probably going to fall in love with the camera of the iPhone 14 Pro. Okay, here I have a set of ultra wide and the wide uh, non night mode versus night mode images. You can see that how the night mode clearly makes a difference. 
it tries to lower down the saturation and brighten up the images while maintaining details the iphone 14 pro itself doesn't find it necessary to use the night mode all the time the auto mode in fact refuses to work in such lighting conditions i had to manually turn on the night mode at max in order to be able to take these photos At times, the non-night mode images seem to have slightly better details, but in most of the cases, the night mode photos clearly win. This is my favorite set of photos and look at the grass in the night mode images, you will find it lightened up and greener. The overall image looks very good, night mode tries to lighten up the shadows of important areas to make them visible. Now this is your look at the non night mode ultra wide uh, wide and 2x zoomed in images and this is your look at the night mode ultra wide versus wide versus 2x zoomed in images these particular images made me fall in love with the night mode performance of the iphone 14 pro i mean you can just use this camera the way you want in such lighting conditions Look at the sky in the background of this chopper, how the night mode tries to lighten it up. And the chopper itself looks much better in the night mode. I think the night mode is really useful on this phone. And the phone's low light performance so far seems to be pretty solid. It's on point. Once again, this is your look at the non night mode ultra wide versus wide versus the 2x zoom image. And this one is your look at the night mode ultra wide versus wide versus 2x zoomed in image once again. The ultra wide non night mode images seem to have better details in most of the cases. In the ultra wide mode, the night mode images only lighten it up. But in the wide night mode images, details are much better than the simple low light images. You will see a bunch of similar images now and I would like you guys to analyze those images on your own. The images will speak for themselves. I have taken 48 megapixels pro raw images in the low light too and I'll see you with those images in a bit. Okay, so here is a comparison of a normal image versus a 48 megapixel image in low light. The Pro Raw image has immense details but certainly looks darker compared to the 12 megapixels image. And this is the same normal image versus its night mode counterpart. And here once again is your look at a normal image versus its 48 megapixels Pro Raw image. As you can see that the normal image tries to bring in more light because of the pixel binning mechanism. The internal processing of the camera helps it look like that. At full 48 megapixels, the images come out as real as they can and that's why you have everything looking dark like that. But in these images, the details are retained which means you can edit these images in post processing to enhance the look. And this is your look at a normal versus 48 megapixels versus night mode photo from the iPhone 14 Pro. The difference is clear, the 48 megapixel image has highest possible details with a darkest look. The night mode photo is the brightest and normal photo is just fine with good details. Another thing that you need to keep in mind while capturing these night mode images is that the size is not going to be in your control. I mean some of these images have a size of up to 80 MBs and uh, the images come out in the DNG format. So you are definitely going to have a hard time while storing these images on your phone because you are going to run out of storage really really fast. Last night I captured about 300 images in the night mode and about 20 or 25 video clips and all of this consumed about 20 gigs of storage on my iPhone 14 Pro. So be careful while capturing the images in the 48 megapixels. I suggest that you keep using the normal mode when you have to capture the photos every day use the night mode only when you want those immense details in your images or for the images that you have to edit later on in the post processing. Some more night mode and 48 megapixel samples and then we'll take a look at the selfies. 
All right, the non-night mode selfies are not good at all. In such lighting conditions, always keep the night mode on and you won't be disappointed. The skin tone is not so natural, images look a little warm or pale. I did take a couple of portraits too now while you observe these images. I'll conclude the video. Overall, I am really impressed with the performance of the iPhone 14 Pro in the low light and the night mode does its job pretty well. I would like to talk about the Pro RAW once again. The 48 megapixels mode works up to the mark in such lighting conditions. The video performance is also good. Since this was a video of the iPhone 14 Pro alone, I can't really say if its performance is better or worse compared to another smartphone. In its own capacity, the iPhone 14 Pro has done a pretty fair job. I'm already working on a full camera review of this phone which will be out in a day or two at max and a comparison with the S22 Ultra will follow soon. For all upcoming videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and do hit that bell icon too. And if you found this video useful, hit the like button as well. Drop your comments in the comment section below. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.